Welcome to Because. We have a great show planned for you today. We'll start out with George Gray taking us to the Employee Fitness Walk at the Woodfield Office Campus. Then Pat Castler will head over to Boomer's Stadium for their opening night festivities. And we'll conclude today's episode with the Bike to Work Day with Mayor Al Larson. Stick around. We'll be right back after these messages. This is George Gray reporting from the Woodfield Lakes Office Campus. For Because TV, we are here for the 24th Annual Employee Fitness Walk. Uh, and we are having a great day, beautiful weather today. And uh, we've got over 160 people uh, participating in today's event, uh, trickling in from offices um, around, the, uh, around the area and uh, enjoying a uh, walk around Woodfield Lake as well as lunch provided by Corner Bakery. We've got uh, bottled water. We've got uh, a variety of um, services being provided by Alexian Brothers. Uh, they are doing some body fat measuring as well as some blood pressure testing. And uh, we've got some smiling Schomburg Park District faces handling check-in and registration. So let's go talk to some of the people that are here today at the 24th Annual Employee Fitness Walk. We might even talk to this guy right here a little later on. All right, this is George Gray, and we have a new lunch sponsor this year at the Employee Fitness Walk that we're really happy about. We've got our friends Bailey and Vanessa from Corner Bakery Cafe. First off, we definitely want to thank you for being part of the event. Uh, we uh, wouldn't be able to do it without you. So tell us a little bit about Corner Bakery Cafe and, and how, uh, how the event's going so far. Absolutely. Well, we're happy to be here. Thank you for uh, asking us to be a part of it. Uh, Corner Bakery Cafe uh, started, we are in our 22nd year of um, existence. Started in Chicago. This is our home um, market here, downtown Chicago, 22 years ago. We now have 33 area-wide locations, uh, the closest one here being in uh, the streets of Woodfield, uh, right next to Maggiano's there. Uh, we offer breakfast, lunch, dinner, and catering. Um, and we are here to support the park district and also to kind of mingle with some of the companies that are participating, make friends in the community, and just kind of, uh, you know, get our name out there. So. Well, you, like you said, you've been around for a while now and have been at Street Woodfield for a while, but uh, what's been the reception like? Are people surprised to see you out here or excited to see you out here? We always get really great reception when people, uh, you know, see our tent and, uh, and see our logo yep. here. Uh, people are always really excited and we, we so, so welcoming. They're always um, very complimentary of the services, the food that we offer. Um, and, you know, we really just are excited to be here and excited to, you know, jump on board and hope to do it in the future as well. well so We'd love to hear that. So <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about what we're, uh, we're offering today to our participants. Absolutely. So today we are featuring our bagged lunch, which includes a full signature sandwich, a uh, bag of chips, and a baker, a freshly baked cookie. Um, we offered three varieties today. Our um, one of our most famous sandwiches, uh, our chicken pesto, um, and then also we offered our ham on pretzel bread, and then our tomato mozzarella sandwich is a vegetarian option. So the reception seems to be really great, and what's, what's awesome is a lot of people are familiar with the brand but don't necessarily realize that we're right here um, in Schaumburg. So um, we love to take the opportunity to share that with people and remind them that we're here, and, and uh, we'd love to see them in the cafe. 
awesome. And now and also you have the catering option too. So a lot of people, a lot of people do their lunches and meetings. So um, it's an option as well for uh, participants. Absolutely. You know, we do catering really well. And, and I can honestly say that um, whether it be business catering or social catering, uh, we're here for you guys. And, and we'd love uh, the opportunity to um, cater your next meeting or, or social event. So. Awesome. Well, we can't thank you enough again. I can't thank Vanessa thank enough, you. too, for, uh, for being part of the event this year. You. Anything you'd like to add, Vanessa? Just that we're right down the street. I'm there Monday through Friday. Please give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help you with your catering needs any day. Awesome. Thank you very much, and thanks again to Corner Bakery Cafe for being part of the Employee Fitness Walk this year. All right, so I'm talking with a, uh, a group of participants here, uh, some lovely ladies that participated in today's employee fitness walk. They don't even look like they broke a sweat. They all look great. So Lauren, uh, tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and where you work at. I work at Coordinated Benefits Company um, in Schaumburg. We're um, off of um, Plum Grove Road and we're in uh, group insurance benefits and uh, we're a broker. Awesome, so how'd you guys hear about the event today? Um, we heard about it through the flyer um, from our HR department. Great, and so far so good. What do you think? Yeah, it's been great. It's great weather and really good food. The Corner Bakery has really great food, so that was definitely a plus. Awesome. Um, well, just tell us a little bit about you know what you guys do and um, and uh, Tim. I lost it there, buddy. <laughs> we need to edit that one out. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, what, uh, what do you think, like, in a, like an event like this, um, what, what are the benefits of, of getting all the, you know, people, out, coworkers out together and taking part of this event? Oh, it's definitely a good group event. We all get to walk around um, outside, which is great weather, and we get to talk a little bit about other things besides work. Um, there's a lot of Schomburg businesses here, so it's great to be able to see everybody come out and enjoy this together. So, hypothetically... Theoretically, if you were working here next year, is this something you'd want to participate in again? Yes, I think that more people should come and enjoy this. Um, definitely around this time of year, um, have Corner Bakery again, and I'm sure you'll get plenty of people. Well, we definitely lucked out with some great weather this year, and we lucked out with a great group of people to come out and enjoy the event. So we appreciate you coming out, and we do hope to see uh, you and your uh, coworkers again in the future. Great. Thank you very much. from the Employee Fitness Walk, the 24th Annual Employee Fitness Walk here hosted by the Schaumburg Park District at the Woodfield Lakes Office Campus. Uh, we lucked out and had a beautiful day of weather this year. Great group of uh, uh, vendors, uh, Alexian Brothers, K-Hits 104.3 providing some musical entertainment. Of course, the staff of the Schaumburg Park District. Hope to see you out here participating next year. Uh, anything to add, statue? 24 years still speechless over the success and the popularity of this event. Couldn't have said it better myself. This is George Gray for Because TV. Adios. Welcome back to the Because Show. I'm Pat Kassler, Director of Communications and Corporate Relations for the Schaumburg Park District. And we're here tonight at Boomer Stadium for opening night of the second season of Boomer's Baseball. Pretty soon these stands will be filled with cheering fans. So join us tonight and become part of the fun. The Boomers! We're here with one of the phenomenal Boomers staff members, Ed McCaskey. And Ed, what do you do for the Boomers? 
I'm the director of marketing and media, but uh, do a little bit more than the title suggests. So anything needed to take, get taken care of, it's uh, basically all hands on deck. So. So what's your outlook for opening night tonight? Very excited, very excited. Uh, this has been the least stressful opening day in my five-year baseball career. Uh, we've got a lot of fun stuff planned for tonight, and uh, real excited just to get things going. A lot of hard work went into getting this season ready, this offseason, many months of planning, and uh, it's finally here, so we're, we're all excited. What's your outlook for the season? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> got a great group of guys on the field. Should be very competitive uh, challenge for the, the playoffs. We just fell a little bit short last year, so we're looking for one more win this year, getting the playoffs. and. Uh, once we get in the playoffs, anything can happen. And then as far as uh, the other fun stuff we got going on, I mean, $10 tickets, free parking. Uh, we've gotten just swamped the last couple of days with phone calls, people wanting boomers tickets. So we're absolutely thrilled by the response from the community and absolutely looking forward to a phenomenal season this year. What will the fans see new this year at the stadium? Not a whole lot of big things, but hopefully the little things will be uh, definitely taken care of this year from the bathrooms in a pristine condition as our owner is uh, everybody loves that saying. yes absolutely uh, to everything else at the park just being in tip-top shape uh, the, the little things is what's gonna make the difference for us this year well congratulations the stadium looks beautiful and hoping for a win tonight yes yes and who are they playing we are playing the Windy City Thunderbolts we finished with the same record we were both one win away from the playoffs last year so well, congratulations. Everything looks great, and I'm sure it's going to go wonderfully. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us on Because. Go Boomers! Joining us now and out from behind the hosting desk is Tony Lafreniere, the Executive Director of the Park District. And Tony, welcome to the Because Show. Hey, thanks, Pat. Good to see you out at the ballpark. And welcome to Schomburg Boomers opening night. As, as the director of the Park District, and of course you have the Park District is involved in the stadium, what, what's your outlook for the season? I think it's a real positive outlook. I've been talking to Andy, the general manager. They're returning a lot of players to the team this year. And I think more importantly, you know, as far as outlook goes, the fans got a taste of the Boomers last year. It was their first year. And I think a lot more fans and the business community are looking forward to their second year really knowing what the boomers are about, knowing their staff, and you know, hopefully from a community standpoint, it's really a year where they can prosper even more. And uh, we just talked to Ed McCaskey, and the boomers organization seems fabulous. How have you liked working with them? Uh, boomers have been absolutely first class about everything they do, from the meetings we go to, about the stadium, about the ball club, about the partnership, and you know, just talking to them about their interactions with the community, and you know, they, they've been a fantastic organization to work with. And to wrap up the interview, can you give us one big Go Boomer? Oh, definitely. Let's go Boomers! Go Boomers! Welcome to Boomers Baseball. What a beautiful day for a game. Let's play two. Uh, this stadium is dropped in beautiful. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your grandkids, and they're probably telling you what a great, great place this is. Boomer Baseball is something that, that uh, we look forward to. We actually have a baseball team for the last, uh, last year and this year. If anyone recalls what we had before, what a great day. I just, uh, it's a privilege to, uh, to be here and uh, let's root for the Boomers. Go Boomers!
for a great 2013 Schaumburg Boomers baseball season. Make sure if you want to get your tickets, you visit SchaumburgBoomers.com. This is Pat Kassler with Because. District and George Gray and George remind me of your title again uh, box center manager program and event supervisor and he is supervising the event here today I'm Pat Kassler we're going to enjoy a great ride to the Municipal Center and Tony this is your first bike to work day with the mayor how what do you, how do you think you're gonna do today uh, I think we're gonna do great I, it took me 12 minutes to ride in over here to Meineke from my house or uh, next to Campanelli Park so really looking forward to uh, to going over to the Municipal Center with the mayor and, and having a lot of fun today. It's a great opportunity to uh, get out and enjoy the great outdoors in Schaumburg. What do you think the importance are of bicycles in our community? Well, I think we're, we're fortunate to have a, a community that's uh, blessed with a lot of great bike paths. Uh, I think the message today is, you know, get out there, uh, bike to work, bike to school, that type of thing, and, and be safe when doing it. Make sure you have the proper safety equipment, uh, most importantly a helmet. And, uh, you know, again, it gives people in the community a, a, a great uh, chance to be physically active, which is really important. And uh, in fact, uh, in honor of Bike to Work Week, the uh, Park Board last week recognized the entire Bicycle Club. And uh, what, how, how involved has the Bicycle Club been with the Park District? Uh, very involved over the years from my, you know, again, I'm, I'm fairly new here, but my, I'm talking to Dan and the rest of the staff, the, the Bike Club's been uh, extremely important in, in kind of paving the way pun intended, uh, for some of the bike paths when, uh, when working with the village and the park district. Mm -hmm. And George, this is just one of the things that the district and the village do in honor of Bike to Work Week. What are some of the other things? Well, uh, in addition to this event, Sunday is our Farad, which is our, uh, which is our annual bike ride from Blackwell School over to the Municipal uh, Plaza, where we'll have a, a picnic afterwards and some entertainment. So we're really looking forward to, uh, to that event. And uh, on Wednesday, May, uh, coming up here Wednesday, May 22nd, we're going to have our bike rodeo event over at Safety Park, which is a uh, event for uh, kids to learn about bike maintenance and bike safety and uh, and uh, just kind of enjoy uh, getting out on their own bikes as well. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the highlights of the Farad? Uh, well, it's a seven mile bike ride. It's You get to go through the entire path, bike way through the community. Uh, so you really get from the um, <clears throat> from the west end all the way to Village Plaza. Uh, so it's just an opportunity for families to get together. It's a guided bike tour um, by our uh, local police. And uh, then, you know, we top it all off with some fun and entertainment and some uh, good barbecued food out at the uh, out at the plaza. Well thank you both for joining us on the Because Show today. Tony have a fantastic ride and George hope the Farad goes great. Thank you very much looking forward to it. It's gonna be a great day thanks Pat. Joining us now is Frida Brown who is Probably your name is synonymous with bicycling in Schaumburg. Certainly, yes. Me and, and Schaumburg itself with all its paths and bikeways. And uh, Frida has been riding bikes since uh, how 40 many years, years now? 40 years. 40 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And you do this ride every year? Oh, yes. I wouldn't miss it. So what is the highlight of the ride today? The highlight of the ride today is a toss-up. It's between seeing Mayor Larson on a bike and doing the paths that we have here in Schomburg, beautiful area. When we go down one of the paths, we're in people, we go past people's backyards, the flowers, the trees, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And you have a beautiful day today. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Super, everything's okay. Well, enjoy the ride and thanks for being with us on Because. Well, thank you very much for asking me.
Joining us now is Mayor Larson, the biggest supporter of bicycling in our town. <laughs> Rob the biggest. This guy's the biggest. <laughs> Mayor, are you looking forward to the ride today? Uh, so far, it's been great. great. <laughs> and what's the highlight for you? Highlight is, is negotiating the bridge in Abrahamson Park. I, I think we're going to walk across the bridge, don't you think, Bob? I think so. We should. You know, we should. You know, can I get in here? You know, Al, because of you, we are expanding the bridge. <laughs> you know, make it wider, and I think we're going to put uh, bumper guards on too, just to be on the safe side for you. Well, you know, I, I'm used to having Longmire in back of me here, right. but uh, and he shifts his weight, and, and all of a sudden we come up to that bridge and we're doing this. I know. And I think what a great place for a plaque. Here lies George <laughs> Longmire. Yes, right. <laughs> and you two are riding together today. I've got well, his I, back I, again. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, Mayor, you've been known to sing on your way before. Are Are you going to be singing on your way to the municipal center of course, this morning? Of course, but you're not going to be able to hear me, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was... That's a blessing. <laughs> we were hoping Bob knew the words, and we'd hear some, you know, oh, kind yeah, of... What, what song can we sing? Stuff to I, I, whatever you want, Al. I, I, I can it was a cold that. winter's evening. The guests were all leaving. O'Leary was clearing the bar. When he turned, then he said to the lady in red, Go home, you can't stay where you are. She shed a sad tear in her bucket of beer as she thought of the cold night ahead when a gentleman handsome stepped out of the bathroom. And these are the words that he said. Her mother never told her the things a young girl should know about the ways of college men and how they come and go, mostly go. Now age has taken her beauty and sin has left the sad marks. So remember your mother's boys and let her sleep under the bar next to the beer. Okay, you ready? Chime in anytime you want, right? How about just do the end? I'll pass. No, I'll pass on this one. You've got it, Al. It's all yours. Thank you for joining us today and because and have a wonderful ride. Well, so far it's been great. Well, you know, Al's, Al's doing the tour of Enchamber too on Sunday, aren't you? Oh my gosh, that's right. That's right. I'm in training. Are you? I sure am. Are you going to ride in that whole, the whole route? Uh, actually, I'll keep you safe. I'll direct traffic on that day. <laughs> well, you know, I, the problem with those longer rides is I need a, 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 a pillow. <laughs> if you know what I mean when you're, you know, you're, yes. wow. Yeah, it gets today, today should be a great training run. Oh, yes, yeah. it should, yeah. We've got people from the bike club here, right? Yeah, we got yeah. the, chair, chair, here. the chair of the bike, uh, of the, uh, bike committee, and, and, and is Frida here? Yeah, she's right over there. She, we just interviewed her. Oh, that's right, Frida Brown, right. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, Frida. Getting Good to on see a you. bike? I'm going to try. <laughs> Mayor Larson does every year. Getting on is great. It's, it's getting off that's a problem, you know. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's my job to hold it while he gets off. I got it. You are very important, Tim. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, thanks my for joining oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Because. Right. No. Yeah. All right. <laughs>